Praise be to Jesus. Hi again, everyone. Charles here. Well, there's a story up here. Now, I may have um, posted something um, similar to this uh, yesterday or the day before. You know, I mean, I, be honest, I'm, I, I don't really remember. But regardless, uh, the fact that it's in the news again um, is significant and is being picked up by, um, in this case, LifeSite News. Uh, it's really a significant story. Okay, let's start here. Cardinal Gerhard Mueller has confirmed that the Vatican investigation into sexual abuse by Cardinal McCormick Murphy O'Connor was not completed, but instead was stopped for lack of the Pope's approval. The Cardinal spoke with LifeSite News yesterday in Washington, D.C., while there to speak at the Napa Institute's Conference on Authentic Catholic Reform. Um, just hold on a second here. LifeSite News asked Cardinal Mueller if Pope Francis had indeed halted the investigation into Cardinal Murphy O'Connor, who passed away in 2017. Mueller was, uh, until recently, the prefect for the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, uh, the Vatican body tasked with investigating sex abuse cases. Cardinal Murphy O'Connor was accused of abusing a girl when she was 13 or 14 during the 1960s. I mean, that's bad enough, but listen to the rest of this. Cardinal Mueller told LifeSite News, he was bound by pontifical secret, but said that the Pope's approval is required for investigations of a cardinal. LifeSite News informed Mueller that some news reports were suggesting he had completed the investigation, rather than the investigation having been interrupted and prevented from continuing. LifeSite News asked the Cardinal if he would at least go on the record to indicate that the investigation was stopped rather than completed, and he agreed yes. So he's on the record here. The Pope wants to speak to you is the name of this little section. Despite suggestions to the contrary, neither LifeSite News nor Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano claimed that Cardinal Murphy O'Connor was guilty of the abuse. Rather, LifeSite's original report focused on the fact that the investigation into the allegations did not follow proper church protocol, and Archbishop Vigano mentioned the halting of the investigation in the context of the Pope's larger record on sex abuse cover-up. The bizarre circumstances around the Pope stopping the investigations was revealed by famed Vatican reporter Marco Tosati. From a source close to Cardinal Mueller, Tosati learned that the Cardinal, when he was prefect of the CDF, was interrupted by a phone call from the Pope while saying Mass in June 2013 at the Church of Santa Monica next to the CDF building, for a small group of German students. Um, as Tosaiti put it in an article for First Things last year, his secretary joined him at the altar. The Pope wants to speak to you. Did you tell him I am celebrating Mass? asked Mueller. Yes, said the secretary, but he says he does not mind he wants to talk to you all the same. The cardinal went to the sacristy. The pope, in a very bad mood, gave him some orders about a dossier concerning one of his friends, a cardinal. In a joint report with LifeSite News last week, Tosati revealed for the first time via a source close to Cardinal Mueller that it was the CDF's investigation of Cardinal Murphy O'Connor that Pope Francis nixed during that urgent phone call. 
From a source in England close to Cardinal Murphy O'Connor's case, LifeSite learned that the lady around 2009 accused Murphy O'Connor of involvement in her abuse. She has been, she had been as a young teen in the 1960s, a victim of notorious pedophile priest Michael Hill. She asserted around 2009 that there were several priests involved in her abuse at the time, with Cardinal Murphy O'Connor being one of them. Cardinal Murphy O'Connor later infam infamously transferred the known abuser, Hill, to be the chaplain at Gatewick a Airport, despite warnings that he would offend again. He did indeed offend again, in, um, in um, uh, parentheses. The lady in question is an acknowledged victim of Father Hill and was paid at the beginning of the 2000s a 40,000 um, lira, I think that is, settlement to the, by the diocese of um, Arundel and Brighton for the abu abuse she suffered. While the left-leaning tablet in England has claimed that the woman's allegations against Murphy O'Connor were investigated by police and the church and found lacking in credibility, our source in England provides needed clarification. Our source notes the police did not decide that she was not credible, but that they did not have corroborating evidence. The source added that, had the police not found the victim a credible source, they would not have investigated the case. Rather, the source said, the police took the case so seriously that they interviewed Cardinal Murphy O'Connor himself, uh, quote, under caution, unquote which means that they made it clear to him that his answers could be used against him in court. Moreover, the source says the police never closed the case, but put it aside awaiting corroborating evidence. Well, the article goes on, but, um, you know, um, again, it just seems like... Um, I mean, here it seems to be significant. Um, I mean, I'm not going to call it evidence like you would put in front of a court of law, or maybe you would, I, I don't know. But, um, you know, there, there seems to be significant material here um, as far as what's happened uh, to indicate that the Pope, um, you know, I, I you know, uh, stopped an investigation um, you know, and that he's complicit in, in covering up again, you know, you know, he says one thing and, you know, here's evidence that he's doing something else. It's just amazing. You know, I, I really, you know, that's really, I, I don't really have anything more to say. So, um, you know, well, we need to pray. So St. Michael's prayer is coming up. Uh, enjoy your day or evening and, uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.